My name is uh, Chef Kimui de Boron. I am the chef and owner of No Mama. There's two things that are very important as a chef. It's taste and skill, or your determination to have skill, or to learn skill. Taste kasi is something that you can't really go to culinary school for. It's something cumulative all throughout the years. Taste is something that you've developed, something that you very personal to you. I was very curious about the food I was eating, and I remember going to some restaurants and then eating something and being very uh, moved by it. If I look back, like at first it was just eating, and second it's like trying to replicate what you ate and trying to understand what happened there. And then it kind of develops into not just the flavors, and then it became about the technique. How did I get this texture? How did I get this temperature? I tried to figure that out and then it became more about the ingredients. Uh, why is this ingredient better than that? Why these two things here in the same plate? And here at No Mama, it kind of shows also about the ingredients, about um, being my curiosity about using the freshest local organic and how it makes a difference in the food. But one of the things that I learned when I was in Tokyo and watching these Japanese chefs cook was their sincere and almost manic obsession with ingredients and quality of the ingredients. And that's what makes Japanese food Japanese food. And that's why now I tried developing ramen recipes that, that wasn't traditional at all. Because I didn't want to be authentic. I didn't want to be claiming that, okay, you know, this is exactly what you're gonna have in Tokyo. Because it's not. One of the things that I've embraced is borrowing techniques and flavors of different cuisine that works. I've come to embrace and really love is being able to get the best of Southeast Asian food, the bold flavors, wild textures, and mixing it in with Japanese fundamentals. If I would look back, most of the milestones in my life is with food, or because of food, or is celebrated by food. It plays in so much. I remember 15 years ago, and I was completely lost in terms of what I wanted to do with my life. And uh, looking back now, I'm just so thankful that I found it. I can't imagine where I would be right now or what I would be doing if I did find this. It's more of that than just the career of being a chef. It's finding who you're supposed to be.